Hey, it's me, Bert. And, uh, well, yeah, since you asked, yes, I've been working out. <laughs> okay, no, this is, uh, this is just a muscle suit costume. I'm wearing it because it's the 4th of July and I just got back from the flea market. So here's, uh, my second toy haul video, uh, from July 4th, 2021. Let's see what I found. No skill customs. First off, before I get through my finds of today, I got to mention, uh, a uh, good friend, I, I teach his, I taught his daughter, she just graduated, and uh, he gave me this amazing foosball table, and I didn't realize really what what the amazing deal it was, because I thought, oh yeah, my kids, they'll love playing foosball once or twice a month. They've been playing it nonstop. My, my son, I swear to you, he's a foosball shark. Do not go up against him, okay? He's 12 years old, and he's like a complete fiend. In, insane. I, can, I cannot beat him for anything. Uh, and, and my daughters too, they're incredible. But anyways, all right, let's get moving. And that, that actually wasn't at the flea market. Did I tell you that? So I don't know if, uh, if I should only be talking about my action figure stuff, but, uh, this is another find I had today. It's still toyish, right? But yeah, this is for my nephew. This is going to be a first birthday present right here. This is a stroller for now and a tricycle for later and with a little cup holder. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good find. 20 bucks. This first thing was, uh, I thought, sort of a low-risk item here. And uh, 10 bucks. I've never seen one of these things with a box. It's the Barbie's Friendship. Okay, get it? Get it? Friend? Friendship? Friend? Never mind. Uh, I thought, you know what? If it's not actually worth 10 bucks, my, my daughters will love it. And if it is worth significantly more, maybe... I'd sell it or maybe I'll just sell the box my kids don't need a box right um but yeah it's pretty cool it uh folds out kind of kind of wish Star Wars toys were this big now let's get it in the light here four and a half feet long when you unfold the whole thing like isn't that the coolest though these seats and this table is that a kitchen a little kitchen for on the plane so I thought that was a pretty good find plus it continues my airplane a month theme Next, I'm just going to go top to bottom with this stuff. Uh, next, I got some Nerf darts. Two bucks for 30. That way I'm, I'm not mad every time I mow one over in the lawn. All right, after that, $6 for the NECA Gorilla Soldier. thought that was a pretty sweet find. Goes with, I already have, uh, I got a Cornelius for free because he was missing a foot one time at a toy show. So now, now I have, you know, two, two NECA Planet of the Apes figures for a grand total of 6 bucks. So I think I'm doing pretty good with my my uh, NECA Planet of the Apes collection there. I got a Spider-Man, the Joker. I always wanted this one. When I was a kid and I found that they actually made a Joker that's, that looked more like uh, Jack Nicholson. I had the other one that, that didn't really look like him at all. I mean, I guess this doesn't look tons like him, but I think it looks a little bit more like him. So I thought that was a cool find. And who is this abomination? Well, it's Abomination from the Hulk movie. Um, that, that is, I guess, still MCU canon, right? So this is an MCU toy. Who knew? All right, after that, beat up Spider-Man for 50 cents. I mean, like, he's beat up in more ways than one. He's, his costume's beat up, but then he's also a little bit loose and wobbly. But I thought that was a pretty sweet figure. Then I got this bag. Pretty much someone else bought a bunch of stuff at the thrift shop. And uh, I paid way more money than they did. But I, I'm still pretty happy with this find, I imagine. Knowing the thrift shops around me, this probably cost him $3. Could you imagine paying 3 bucks for this? Look at all these guys. Mohanic. I don't know. Is that John Cena? I don't know. Um, look, it's it's Jeremy Bullock as an action figure. I don't know his real name. Luke miss, have, with some issues here. But here's here's the big find was uh, a Legacy Ugnaught in there. So I paid... I paid 20 bucks for the bag. I also got that prune face, not not Oren Marco, but the other one from uh, I think he's a vintage collection, maybe he's a legacy collection. Here's some Imagine X dudes. Uh, I've never had this version of Anakin with bending bending knees, so I don't know what when that's from. Maybe Power of the Jedi cloak thing from I think his name is Worm. Another Pod Racer Clegg Holdfest, my favorite C3PO. Okay, a little a little Lego dude and. Uh, yeah, so the prune face guy, I uh, I gave that to to my bro Nip already. I I, I was gonna pull one out of my collection and and show you that one instead, uh, but uh, he said that was not 
That was not cool. Okay, so I'm not doing it. So you can just imagine. I gave it to my bro. So that's where that's uh and then uh shockwave, right? Thought that was pretty cool. So got all those guys moving on. I got the Temple of Doom board game. This is actually for Pokey. Funny story. Pretty much I meet everyone I know at up at the flea market. That's the only time I get to hang out. So uh so Pokey's there and I told Pokey, because you know, I don't know if you guys can imagine this but when i'm shopping at the flea market i'm a focused guy okay i i made the mistake once of chatting with a friend and saw somebody else walk by actually my arch nemesis walked by with uh lots of toys okay and that arch nemesis beat me to some toys today too but you know i'm not going to name names okay he'd probably like knowing that he's my arch nemesis to be honest but anyways i saw pokey there and he was picking on me because i told him i couldn't talk to him till like eight o'clock nine o'clock so uh, he told me, uh, he was at a, a spot looking at some stuff, and I stopped over, and he goes, keep walking, like real meanie, right? And someone was concerned later on that I was being bullied by him. Now, they they thought it was possible that he was just joking with me, but they, but Pokey does look like a bully sometimes. But anyways, I picked this up for Pokey, and uh, 15 bucks, one of my favorite people at the flea market, real nice guy. He was just happy to see human beings again. You know, after this whole this whole year, so and it looks like it's all there too. So I uh, I told Pokey I wasn't going to give it to him until my video was done. So that's why I'm jumping right into it today. All right, next up, some good old fashioned laser discs. Okay, I I assured my friend, my friend who who's also actually uh, an, I also saw at the flea market. He was a little disappointed because I've talked about him before. He's my Transformers friend, and. Uh, he was a little disappointed that I didn't give him a nickname yet, so I got to think of a nickname for him. Um, but anyways, uh, he he wasn't interested in these because he thought they were special edition. He did not want, you know, the extra explosion. He's like, I don't want the extra explosion. I don't want Greedo shoot first. I'm like, trust me, this is this is the real deal. This is the original. One last time, that was their whole thing. Um, the only thing I think that's changed about this is maybe it's got a clear picture and better sound. So. Um, Pick those up for five bucks a piece. Then, all right, this is another spoiler. My son, you gotta stop watching, okay? All right, this is this is gonna be probably his birthday present from my brother, not Nipper, my other brother. Okay, I actually have another brother. I'll t I got some stories about him. <laughs> They're not bad. All right, and then this being Fourth of July, what Fourth of July is complete without some bang snaps? Oh yeah, we're gonna make some noise. You know, the, I'm pretty sure these are... I don't want to open them up because these are actually... I'm going to give them to, to my kids and their cousins. Oh, look at that. Just in little baggies. Little snapper things. Pretty fun. All right. Remember, they just make loud noise. That's essentially what they do. Okay, I hope they work. I seem to remember a pack like this being 75 cents when I was a kid. These kind of cost me four bucks. Yikes. Okay. Got a lightsaber because, you know, my kids never feel like they have enough lightsabers. That was two bucks. I don't know what this one's from. I can't. I cannot figure out whose this is. I'll have to do some research there. Another gift for for my son. This this one. I mean, I might be putting these off till Christmas. We'll see. All right. And uh, and I know you feel bad for him that I'm holding off on all these presents, but you'll see this one that I'm giving to all my kids in just a minute. Then I bought this. It's described as a uh, Tonka construction set parts. Two bucks. Right. And I thought, you know, oh, it's got these cool clear orange windows. I don't know if it's all there, but here, this is what won me over. I just want to have, I want to have this in the, in my Death Star. Concession stand, restrooms, I just think it's great. Just have a little sign like that in the, in the middle of the Death Star. Um, okay, and then uh, I told you I meet everybody at the flea market. That's how, that's how my brother Nipper stole his stuff. I ran into Pokey, I ran into my Transformers friend. I also ran into my mom, and she had my toys. I shipped... <laughs> I shipped these to her house so I could get the quantity that I wanted because I gotta have I gotta have an Endor Leia on the speeder bike. I gotta have an Endor Leia um, by the bunker. I gotta have one um, in my Rebel briefing room scene, and I have to have one on my toy tower where I put all the the greatest uh, uh, the the best updates of the vintage figures. So I needed a few of these, so I had to send some to her house to make sure I got some. So so my mom hooked me up with my with my toys that I sent to her house. All right, here's the grand finale. This is, oh wait, oh my gosh. 
there's a whole nother bag. Got this. Thought that was a pretty cool find. That, that one is opened. I thought it wasn't, but it is. All right. The thing in a trench coat. Can't beat that. And then a whole bunch of Lord of the Rings figures. Just the bad guys, though. That's all I need is bad guys. So, because I don't know if you saw my setup in my other video, but I needed more Lord of the Rings figures. All right. I got a reek for a couple bucks. Plan on, plan on painting that. I'm going to make this guy looks super realistic he's got some some paint issues going on so i thought that was a perfect one take one take one that's kind of junky and paint it up another ring wraith can you have enough ring wraiths i guess once i get to nine then i'll then i'll be enough all right and then uh king kong from uh the the, the kong movie that uh peter jackson made love this figure pretty great and then I got, I, I believe this is Super Shredder. That's why I was buying him from, from the Turtles 2 movie. Okay. He was five bucks. Love this Falcon for a dollar. Got some super articulation going on there. And then uh, Mr. Freeze. Or I, Wait, wait. No, is this some crazy Lex Luthor costume? Oh, I don't even know. I'm such a poser. Sorry, I don't know my DC stuff. Okay. I know there's a crazy rare one of this. I don't think that's what I have. I think he's supposed to have like purple tubes or something somewhere. I don't know. And then, of course, you've got to have a skeleton. Skeleton dwarf. All right. Uh, Mon Mothma for customs. And then I bought these guys. These guys are from the, the Grinch movie. And you might be wondering why I bought these guys. Uh, I bought two of them. They probably person selling these probably thought they would never sell in a million years. I passed up on the Grinch and I bought these guys. And here's my plan. Shave off some of that hair, okay, and it's going to become uh, this dude right here from the cantina is my plan. What do you think? I think it's possible. thought maybe I'd s somehow be able to use his body for something, but I'm really, really bought these guys just for the, just for the head. Okay, then now I'm ready for the grand finale. Uh, I think this is my best find. Pokey was a little, a little upset that he didn't just ask about it. Okay. The Lego ATTE. And, okay, now first of all, I, I don't believe at all that this is complete. But I thought for $5 it's worth a shot. So we'll see. I mean, it's got some things in there. Who knows? Um, yeah. I mean, heck, there's even a part of a clone trooper. So... We shall see. We're gonna. This is gonna be a little fun uh, activity. I, and I figure, you know what? Maybe, maybe even if it's not all there, maybe I have enough junk. Hey, there's a Tie Fighter cockpit cover. Maybe I have enough extra pieces elsewhere that I can complete this thing. So that was my that was my big find. The grand finale. The ATTE. I'll uh, I'll hopefully come back and do another one of these videos next month. So uh, look for that one. And I, I I'll. Uh, yeah, I know. I look ridiculous in this muscle suit. I'll put it away. All right. Okay. Bye now.